Hi there guys, it's Abhijin's SketchUp workshop for another installment of SketchUp goodness. In this episode, I would like to talk about my, well, pretty much one of my favorite pastimes, and that is creating models and modding my, one of my favorite games, Age of Empires 2, the HD edition on Steam. I really love it. It's uh, something that I wanted to mod for a long time. And to be perfectly honest, a lot of people asked me a lot of questions about how I get my 3D models into the game, how to make 3D models for the game. So what I'm going to try to show here in this series of videos is Technically not how to make great architecture or how to make great buildings But how to make great architecture and great buildings that fit into Age of Empires So let's get started so, up Here now here we can see uh, a model of a barracks Well at least the Age of Empires definition of a barracks it's for my Vietnamese civilization. So, it's a pretty simple square structure. And as you can see, it is on a little grid. So, Age of Empires buildings should always follow this sort of grid. Uh, where two cubes is for a house. Three is for larger buildings, such as stables, barracks four would be for universities, castles, and finally five times five would be for wonders. So, uh, today I would like to guide you through making a barracks for the Frankish civilization. So, let's first talk a little bit about what you will need. So. Well, first and foremost, you would need to somehow get this resolution right, this isometric resolution. I'm going to add one of my own templates in the near future so that you can use it. And you will also need textures. So I have prepared some textures, but before we go on to that, I definitely suggest uh, visiting the website called textures.com they have all the textures you might want to need I don't know for example wall and there you have a ton of textures that might be perfect for your buildings now mind you most of them are not free of charge but some of the low resolution images are you just need to create an account so let's see here and let's take a look into my Frank's sources folder. So I got these sources from all over the place. Let's move this picture. And we will start off with ah, this one. A texture which I prepared. It's a seamless wall from the famous city fortress of Carcassonne. It's one of the city walls. So once we dragged in the texture, we just explode it, turn it into a group, and now we can access the texture. That's quite important and it would be great to have a seamless texture because they do not cause that many problems. So they're very easy to fit. So now we're going to create a cube shape and extend it all up to here. So I have my Vietnamese barracks for comparison, but your barracks can be any size or shape you want to. So that's great. Now we're laying down some foundations here. So as you can see, the barracks has an outer wall and it also has an entrance. So let's carve out an entrance right here and keep the outer wall where it's supposed to be. Okay, so now I see that my outer wall might need some angling here and there. So let's reduce its thickness. 
and let's play a little bit with the drag follow me option so first we're going to create this a little triangle and let's order that triangle to follow us and follow this line okay perfect so and let's do this for this side as well okay sometimes it's a bit unruly you can never tell what the triangles are thinking <laughs> okay so now we have finished up the barracks outer walls so it's time to texture them so let's click on this and let's apply the texture now the texture will be applied in a way where it's just a copy of the texture where it is here so for the best results maybe putting the texture this way would be perfect now you can also turn off the projected in textures turn off projected and position the texture yourself this will take up some extra time but it will allow you to create a more let's say believable or a more streamlined look to your buildings so go for that now let's just paste it here so and let's use this texture for this and this and here and here as you can see sometimes the textures are a little bit unruly so it will take your a little bit of your own assistance to actually get them into the shape and position you want to so ta -da. we have finished up this part of the barracks looks neat so far but sometimes we also have to follow Age of Empires conventions. What does that mean? Well, that means that most of the textures you add will be a little bit muddy when you actually put them in the game. Uh, problem is, the game doesn't support as many colors, so that means that you will have to have a, I believe, 24-bit color depth which means that you have to be careful with the size of your textures. Some of them will not be very clear once they are imported into the game. So always feel free to put on sharper, uh, larger textures. Okay, so we have finished this part of the barracks, so let's wrap it up. And now let's talk about these edges. Now chamfering or cutting these edges would be a great idea however that takes time and doesn't always pay off especially because in Age of Empires you can barely notice it so let's make a small shape like I don't know this one and make unique texture out of it and let's take that texture put it here enlarge it a tad bit and extend it so now we have a block so instead of actually chamfering or softening the edges, softening the edges, we should actually put in these blocks. So let's do it bit by bit. So you do not have to have a bazillion different blocks or stones. You can make them in any shape you desire, be it rounded or like in my case here, just very sharp blocks because we're talking about the ranks you know, born conquerors, so on and so forth. So their architecture can be a little bolder. It depends on how you feel about certain civilizations, of course. So we will extend this and we will also tilt the stones a little bit to follow the architecture, to follow the wall. Uh, so it's just a bit of a difference, but in game it actually does seem to you know have an effect all right so let's just adjust these a little bit so that they fit in with the general idea and there we go now we have a nice lining around the wall which looks perfectly serviceable to me so we turn it into a group copy it over here rotate it but before we fit it onto the wall we also just drag it like this 
and there we go now it's ready to be adjusted onto the wall and voila so we do it one more time for now and tada we got ourselves a beautifully fine chamfered wall with some extra meat to it so it has some extra dimension so the next part you can do is you can just add a few extra stones like I will do now for depth so remove this 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 so it doesn't have to be completely symmetrical just to create a bit of a feeling of thickness and there we go our outer wall has been completed so. now we're for this part of the tutorial we will also fiddle a little bit with some textures so let me get that from our Frank sources so I really liked this gateway it really got me so we're going to add it this beautiful arch it's really cute so let's put it here now of course this is a barracks it's a military building so in my opinion it should not be too extravagant so what we're going to do is we're going uh, we're going to try to make it kind of look sophisticated and French but not too sophisticated remember military buildings and so on and so forth so we're going to use this arch option arched line and draw this perfect then this and now within this circle we are going to just use the offset option to finalize what we started now we're just going to copy some lines over here to be sure oh this will be perfect as an ending so try to be symmetrical at all times it's easier that way and here okay so now we got ourselves a little large or at least we got our lines over the little large what we want to do now is we would like to adjust I will, or I would like to move this texture here so what we're going to do is we're going to just turn off the projected part of this texture and position it okay so let's just increase the size of this until it looks a bit like well an integral part of that okay perfect so now we are ready to whoops this is a bit of a surprise let's come down to the bottom of this betrayal so sometimes following the lines is a little bit difficult so especially for rebellious sketchup okay minor setback let's move this here so if you work in sketchup this is going to happen a million times just have to cool down and it's going to be fine <sighs> there we go now we just remove a few of the lines here and here and voila the arch is back better than ever really now it's our turn to actually turn it into a 3d model and we're going to go you know completely crazy by giving it a half circular shape so half moon it is so let's do this all right and before we continue I'm just going to copy this texture you will see why in a moment okay so again unruly SketchUp doesn't want to align the faces that we would like to be aligned okay now let's paste this as you have seen we need to texture project it and remember it memorize it like this hop come on be nice show us what we want there we go Now, 
that's much better. Thank you very much, model. And here we have ourselves a little arch. Now we will just add a few more details to the arch. Don't worry, SketchUp, this is a very valid path, I assure you. Okay, perfect. So now we are adding a few more 3D details. Uh, nothing major, but they will be, you know, a nice little touch to the overall look of the 3D archway. Hop and hop. So we're going to copy this over. Now let's match them up. There we go. So this will be our entry to the barracks. Of course, it will need some resizing, and of course, I would like to add another dimension to it by making it at least seemingly 3D. Let's put these together. This will be a good look. The little openings do not matter for now because they will barely be visible once we have fused this archway to the gate. And there we go. Ta da! So, this is pretty much the complete first phase of the barracks. I hope it was clear enough and I hope you'll stick around for the next part of the video. Thank you very much and please don't forget to comment and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you!